And when you have worms in your garden, it's a really good day. Whether you have sandy soil, clay soil, acidic soil, alkaline soil, any kind of soil, if you have worms in there anywhere, wet your soil, put some mowed grass and leaves on here, just leave it over the winter. Next spring, you are gonna have some fantastic soil. All the nutrients from this are gonna leach down into your soil, revitalize it. The worms are gonna come along, do what worms do, make more worms, poop, tunnel, and drill holes through here, which helps aerate your soil as well. So this is gonna be a good thing for your soil. Don't worry about weeds growing in here or anything like that, because what this is gonna do is smother out anything that's growing. So if you don't wanna weed your garden for the rest of the season, put on a nice coating of this, it's gonna kill anything that's growing underneath here. It's gonna attract the worms. It's gonna enrich your soil with all kinds of nitrogen and nutrients and stuff from the leaves and the grass. It's a win-win situation and it's a great way to get your bed ready for the fall and winter if you're not gonna be growing in the winter. This is one of my lazy tips from me to you, how to make your raised beds just a little bit better for next season's growing. Thanks for joining R Rascal. Thanks for joining Rascal and I in the garden. We really do appreciate it. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. I did want to mention something about compost. Whether you have some partially cooked compost or totally finished compost, now is not the time to put it in your garden. Wait just another month or two before the ground freezes, then till it into your garden. You're going to get the most benefit that way. Because if you put it in now, autumn generally brings in a lot of rains, right? Well, when the rains come, it's going to saturate your ground and it's going to rinse out all the good stuff that your compost has to offer. Not a good thing. I wait until the very end of the season, then I put it into my garden, or I wait until very early spring and then till it in. So if it's unfinished compost, put it in at the very, very end of the season. If it's finished compost, put it in next spring. You're going to get the biggest bang for your buck that way.